Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and not Bill, but Ange today. And today we got an interesting one. Um, basically, we put out a survey on this one and here's the question. Would you buy a house knowing that it's haunted? Okay, you, you know it's haunted. It was known to be haunted. Some people just don't believe in haunted houses. And buy it and live in it. Okay, here's my question to you. Is it haunted as in like rumor haunted or is it like Amityville Horror haunted? Well, let's go with the Adamville Horror Haunted. Okay, like, because like it's I, been yeah. documented that stuff has happened here. Yeah, because okay. I, I said, you know, I said in, you know, the survey is like, would you buy a house that's known to be haunted? Okay, so that would be like this documentation. Known to be haunted, happened, yeah. buy it, and live in it. That's what we're going to talk about today, okay? Interesting. And, and believe it or not, there's pros and cons in living in a haunted house. Well, I guess it's who you're living with in the haunted house. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the ghost it, is or whatever. It, it is true, but it, you know, it's a lot to do with real estate. And uh, so I wrote down some, you know, I, I did some research, and here's some pros and some cons of buying a house that's known to be haunted. Let's hear a pro. Okay, you want to hear a pro? Yeah, let's okay. hear a pro. Lower purchase price. Haunted houses often sell for less due to the stigma of making them more affordable options. Okay, now. Can I interject something? Here? Yeah. Now, what about if, would that also be the same if someone was murdered in the house? No, I don't I'm not saying it's haunted, but you know, like a murder, like it would still be kind of cheaper in price. Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you guys a question. Would you buy a house that somebody was murdered in there? Me personally, I would not. I wouldn't care. Okay. So I say I would not buy the house. I would not live in the house if somebody was murdered in it. I just maybe... <clears throat> It's a stigma. I have no idea. But you said you don't care. You would buy it. Yeah, I don't care. especially if it was like a, a really good deal. Like you know, you're buying this house that's like a million dollars, and they only sell it to you for six fifty or seven hundred, seven fifty. You know, it's like woohoo! I don't care. I'll just redo the murder area. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, hey, in the meantime, do me a favor. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. We're working on a podcast. Well, Angie's working on it, but. We're going to put it on this channel too, and we don't want you to miss it. So subscribe, so you'll get notified as soon as we upload those episodes. Okay. So the pro, we, our first pro was cheaper price. Yep. Okay. Next here's one. A, here's a pro: unique character. Older homes with haunted reputations also often have a unique architectural feature and charm. Okay, yeah, I could understand it because it's been around for a very long time, and it might have that like, oh, what what do you call that? That uh, southern. Um, you know what I'm talking about, where it, it has like that plantation y kind of look of a house where it's got the nice, you know, posts yeah, yeah, outside. They're, they're, the usually, they're usually older homes. Yeah. Uh, like on your channel that you're setting up, I think your first video is going to be about a haunted house, right? Yeah, we're doing, we're doing that, uh, the place that's over in Brooksville. Yeah, we're going to be doing, we're going to be checking it out and spending some time there. And um, it's going to be on his channel and stuff and everything. But okay, so characters. So that's a good one. Let's talk about a con. All right, fear factor. So persistent unease, fear, paranoia can make living in a house uncomfortable. I agree with that 100%. Well, yeah, especially, you know, it gets to you mentally and you start thinking you see things at night and you're here. Yeah, like you get, you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're like, oh, I'm going to go get a glass of water. And then just you feel something or the air conditioning kicks on and you get a chill. <laughs> you or, or you see those shadows, you know, like the dark shadow again, you know, not even against the wall, like in the doorway. Yeah. All right. What about this social stigma? Friends, family, neighbors may be wary, the judgmental about your choice to live there. You think people like be yeah, like? I think they might say like you're crazy or something, but I don't think they're like I'm not talking to you or I can't. Be all right, like the Adamville Horror House. You know, like I wouldn't live in that one, even though. No, it's I mean, come on, let's that be, house is worth a that, fortune. But but let's be honest, that's got some serious documentation behind it. You know, and I mean, they made a movie over that, and that was that house was like the walls were bleeding. You know, so <laughs> I don't believe any of that stuff, but well, according to the movie, according to the movie, yeah, you're in the movie business. So, all right, how about this one? Unexplained activities, strange noises, cold spots, unsettled experiences can disrupt your daily life. That's I get that. Gun. I get that in my house now. Maybe your house is haunted. <laughs> uh, actually, I think it is not haunted. I think a spirit is in my house. I really do. Well, what makes you say that? Um, I actually think it's my dad. To be honest with you. Really? Yeah. All right, so your dad's hanging out with your mother. He's hanging out in the house. I think he's hanging out to bust my chops. 
Okay. All right. What about this one? Let's go back to a pro. We can't just keep it doing cons. Okay. What's another pro? A pro. Potentially for profit. Some haunted houses can attract tourists and be turned into a business like a bed and breakfast and ghost tour. That I totally believe that. Uh, there's a place that's in L.A. that's over off of like Beverly Glen in an area of, um, I forget what the area is called, but the house is known to be haunted and the people that own it live in it and they did that. They turned it into like an Airbnb, you know, breakfast. Yeah, then they have thing. people like you that go there and do a YouTube video on it, spend the night there, and now everybody knows that they're like, oh, I want to go spend the night there. Oh, it's like everyone goes and it's like, th this is their business, these people. Like we drove there. It wasn't too far from my house and we went to see it. It's a gorgeous house. Not meaning like modern, mm -hmm. like an old house, you know what I'm saying? Like the old look. Um, and it was, it was, it was a nice house. And you could definitely say that like, okay, this was like, you know, the Munsters, you know, the Munsters house on TV kind of thing. All right. How about this one? Historically significant. Many haunted houses have rich histories, which can be fascinating to research and live among. I could, I, I, especially Pro. down here in the South. Yeah. I could see that happening. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Let's go keep positives then. Quirky appeal. Haunted houses can be fun an unconventional choice for adventurous spirits. Now, do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, it is def I don't want to say ghosts, but like uh, power, entities. It, it definitely exists. So you believe in spirits and yeah. ghosts and all that stuff? Yeah, definitely. All right, so. Transformation of so, power. So you think that could be, like you said, you might have a really good spirit in the house. Yeah, you could. I, it's like you could have a friendly one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, evil is evil, you know what I'm saying? So you could have an evil one, too. All right, let's go to a con. Harder to resell. The stigma associated with the haunted houses can be more difficult to sell later on. It's true. Yeah, I would think so. Um, you know, like, come on. Let's talk your situation. Which one? <laughs> what, what do you have in your garage? All, all the all the haunted EPS kind of equipment. Well, it was just for, it was for, yeah. Well, a lot of that for it was electrical magnetic lines because I did a video on on Lux lines. You know, living here. I remember here, that. Yeah. And a lot of that equipment is the same equipment they use yeah. in that. Okay. And thermal imaging, I use it for inspections. When but I do inspections. Have you, have you used it on your own house? No, I haven't used it on my own house. <laughs> there you go. We got to try it here. But the whole thing is, when I bought this house, I saw those power lines all the way back there. I did measure it. To, that would make total sense. I yes. measured it to see if there's any uh, magnetic flux lines. Well, that could also give you a haunted house of kind experience. Of, yeah. 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 That's that's it. Really, really could. All right, so how do we sell? We agree with that. Do you guys agree with that? Comment below. All right, what about this one? Con. Paranormal events, reporting, apparitions, strange movements, disembodied voices could be unsettling and frightening. I agree with that 100%. I don't even watch haunted movies. Neither do I. I can't, I, I can't stand it. You're in the movie all. industry. And you know uh, yeah, I don't, like, I don't like horror, and I don't like anything that hurts an animal. You know, like nobody wants kill to kill a dog or something like that. It uh, drives me nuts. I can't, I can't be involved in it. I've turned down a lot of work because they've done stuff like that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I agree. Now with Now they this didn't one. hurt him in real life. It was that it was portrayed on the screen. I just couldn't be involved. All right, what about this one as a con? Maintenance challenges. Old houses often have structural issues that contribute to the haunted reputation. And like it, creaky beams. Yeah, and, so let me tell you guys a story. So I was doing a house actually in Tarpon Springs, and it was built in 1800s. That's how old it wow. is. Wow. You know, it had, you know, knob and tube wiring, which is like the wiring for the electrical is running on the outside of the walls, you know? Holy cow. And it was live still, you know? And there was nobody home, and I was, I was doing it, and it was like towards, you know, starting to get dark. You know, mm -hmm. it was last winter and stuff, and I was up in the attic and crawling. I got the biggest chill. I wanted out of that house so fast. I don't know. I didn't see anything. I didn't really feel it. I, well, I felt something. And I'll probably be paranoid because it's just like a house in the 1800s. It's a beautiful house, Victorian. But it spooked me out. I was all the way up in the attic. I was like, I'm out of here. Did, when you say I, you feel something, did you feel like... Did you feel nauseous, a headache, or dizzy, or was it just... Uh, uneasy like, feeling. Uneasy, okay. I felt a really, really big uneasy feeling, and I went out of that attic so bad that I almost fell out of the attic. Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> and I'm like, and, you know, I should have went back in there and finished what I was doing. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you know? 
Here's a con. Reluctant guests. Friends and family may avoid visiting you due to the home's reputation. I could definitely see that. Like, my wife, sometimes she says, oh, don't, you know, like, we, I like antiquing a little bit. And she's like, and certain things, she's like, don't bring it home. I don't want you to bring something home, you know. That's <laughs> funny. Oh, my God. That's a great. Something's, that attached, is, yeah. something's attached to it, you know. I wouldn't even think about that. Like, it, someone, the spirit is in the mug or something like that. Oh my God! Or you get like a little jewelry box. Oh, that's oh, that's that's funny. <laughs> I remember I was up in Maine and then somebody was doing uh, somebody was selling stuff and it was a urn. You know, you put ashes in there, and I literally opened it up and there was ashes. And I talked to the person. I was like, "Dude, you know that this ashes are still in this thing? Like, yeah, we don't know who it belongs to, but we know it's over a hundred years old." I was oh, like, who's wow. going to buy a urine with ashes still in it and they don't know who it belongs to? Oh, that's insane. I get, someone will. There's, you know, there's these, those people out there that, you know, they're would into you, the Would macabre. you guys buy a urine with ashes in it and bring it home? Comment below. I really want to know about that well, one. Well, it's like the ones that buy the, they'll, they'll get the, the skull or the monkey paw or whatever it is, you know, the voodoo. But here's, here's another one that a lot of people are saying. You know, if you buy a haunted house and you're living in it, negative energy. If haunted involves male, a violent spirit, it creates a toxic living environment. That's what I was saying before. If like, it's if, like, if, is it like a demon? Yeah, something? if it's like, if it's an, or an angry person, you know, because there, there's been things noted about like, you know, someone that was in the house, you know, that got, you know, I don't want to say they got murdered. They could have been beaten or whatever, or just tortured or treated really poorly, and they. They just can't move on. They live there, so and they take it out on who's ever there. All right, let's let's talk about a couple more positives. We, we went a little bit deep into the negatives. We'll go back <laughs> to the negatives soon. Okay, make sure you comment below. Community interest. Neighbors may find your home intriguing and want to come and check it out. Yeah, I can see that, and that could actually become a pain in the neck because, yeah. like, you know, remember growing up, we went to go see the Amityville Horror House in Long Island. Oh, yeah. And well, the lines that would catch it around the holiday time. Oh, well, forget don't it. forget, we we were hanging out. We were still, uh, back in 76, I think it was, we actually, or was it 70? It was in the 70s. I, well, it happened in the 70s, but we're from the later 80s. No, but when the movie came out. Oh, I think it was, I think it was maybe the early 80s. 80s, 81. Yeah, somewhere around, I think, yeah. yeah. I went to that house. That's what I'm saying. Lots of people would get, you know, you'd get in your older brother's car and yeah. take a ride. And All right. Here's a pro. Creative decorations. A haunted home theme opens up opportunities for Halloween, if you're into Halloween. Okay. Here's this one that we put down. Peaceful neighbors. If the house is truly haunted, you likely won't have to worry about your noisy living neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> They stay away. They'll oh, stay away. That's funny. It's like, hey, I'll send my ghost after you. That's funny. Okay, another pro. Spiritual growth. For those interested in a paranormal, it can be a chance to explore the spiritual phenomenon. If you're into it. Yeah, totally. They're, they're all people um, who do, you know, seances in their houses, you know, and have the little gatherings. It's kind of like, you know, with the Ouija board, you know, that kind of thing. You know, or they have the little, you know, the globe, like the gypsy, you know, and they're palm reading. So there I guess are people. Yeah, My so mother went years ago to a, a house that was haunted for a reading. So if you're into, yeah, so if you're into that, you don't have to, if you're living in the house, you don't have to go far. Yeah, that's it. It's right there. All right. Media opportunities. You might, you, your home might attract attention from paranormal TV shows and documentary creators and YouTubers. Now, like you. True, but you know, we're going to a place that's an actual tourist, you know, where they, it's strictly tours is what they do. But if you're, if it was like, say, your house here, believe me, the last thing you want to do is get your house in a paranormal show or whatever, mm -hmm. because it's either going to get overexposed. Like, and then people are knocking on the door and you just want to conduct your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or, 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 pretty sweet, or you, if you got nothing to do, you could totally be into it. Like, if that's your thing, you know, you might be into people coming, you know, so it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I wouldn't want people coming to my house. Yeah. Okay. All right, how about this one? Pro, personal challenge, overcoming the fear and living in a haunted home can feel empowering. Well... You ever see those like those paranormal shows where they stay overnight in a place that's like you know? Yeah, when we do your video, are we staying overnight? I, we got to find out if they'll allow us. I don't know if they'll allow us, but you know. But what I'm saying is, it's kind of like, can you make it through the night in some of these places? You know, it could be pretty, you know, nerve wracking, and you got to leave. You you know, you you wimp out, so to speak. 
Well, here, here's a pro. I don't understand this one. Potential for renovation. If a haunted house is tied to a specific issue, like creaky floors or drafts, renovation could add value. But if your house is haunted, why, if you renovate it, you might chase out the, the haunting. You know what I'm saying? Because I would think all of that is part of it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like having like a, a Picasso in, in the frame that you got it in. You don't want to pull out the painting and put it in a different frame. No, that's true. That's true. Here's a pro, and this is this this one I agree with. Less competition, many buyers avoid haunted homes, so less likely to face bidding wars. Yeah, but if less buyers are likely to buy a haunted home, you're going to have a harder time to sell your home. Yeah, but some people don't care. Some, some of these homes that they say are, are um, haunted are freaking beautiful, you know? Oh, I know. Some, like, there's a whole town in Los Angeles. It's a, uh, a bunch of haunted houses. They, they move, it's get next to the 101 freeway. They moved them. They actually lifted the houses and they brought them. And they placed them in this little area. So you can come do a tour of all these places. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty scary because some of the stories behind it are pretty insane. All right, cons. We got to go back to cons, okay? And if you guys have any cons, you know, post them below. Culture taboos. Some cultures have strong beliefs against living in a haunted house, which might affect relationships or social standing. Well, what would the taboo be mean? Like like some little girl was slaughtered in the house? That kind I of have thing? no or, idea. Or, like, was it like, you know, something that has to do with like a ritual killing? What, what you guys comment below. Tell us what you think about that one. Cultural taboo. What, what, what do you think that would stand for? How about this one? Insurance issues. Some insurers may refuse to coverage due to the home's reputation or perceived risks. Does insurance companies really care if the house is haunted? I, I can't see anything the, what perceived risk and if you're an insurance agent or insurance broker do me a favor can you answer that question for everybody yeah. it does it if the house is known to be haunted does it affect somebody's insurance do me a favor ask that question uh, answer that question okay nightmare fuel children are sensitive to family members might struggle to feel safe or sleep soundly i can understand that that they think you know think about it little kids you know if they have they think the closet's got a monster in it or there's a monster under their bed god forbid now you're telling them you're living in a haunted house <laughs> especially when they get older you know and the whole thing is they'd be like okay you live in a haunted house you have kids you never seen anything but your kids said oh they saw something now they probably didn't see anything, but now in your mind, you're like, maybe they really did see something. Well, they always say that children can see spirits. So if there's a ghost oh, there? or something, yeah, that a child can see it. And animals. Uh, once you hit once you hit adulthood, you can't see it anymore. And it's probably all a mental thing, you know, like your, your mind's not open. Here's a con. A lot of your friends might be skeptical. Skeptic friends and family might dismiss your experience as cause and tension. I can see that. Yeah, you could get in a few arguments here and there over it, especially if you've been out drinking. <laughs> legal disclosure. In some states, sellers must disclose a haunted house potentially leading to legal complications. Well, I would think that would be the same as if someone was murdered in the house. The realtor has to uh, let you know that I'm not a realtor, so I can't answer that question. Yeah, no, you have but, to. That's a, that's a law everywhere. you got to tell them if somebody was killed. But, um, yeah, if you could tell us, if you're a realtor, if the house is known to be haunted or something bad happened in the house, do you have to disclose that? And name the state that you're in, too. We, want really, we really want to know that one. All right. Media, intrusion, paranormal, you know, people coming through. Confusion with real, real problems. Paranormal claims can mask real issues like poor plumbing and faulty wiring. Uh, basically what you were saying before about like the power lines and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like you, you think it is and it's coming from something else. You know, you can get those gurgling sounds late at night and you're plumbing and it might sound like it's, you know. Uh, he, here's a big one. Health impact. Constant stress of fear negatively affects physical and mental health over time. Oh, without a doubt. I told 1,000, but just like going to a nine to five job and getting your, you know, your, your, your balls busted every day is gonna lead to bad, you know, physical help and mental, you know, abilities. So if you, ha you come up to a haunted house that you think is, oh, forget it, you know, especially if you're trying to get out of it. So here's, uh, let me just round off a, a couple of more pros. Learning experience, supportive paranormal community, unique ambience, novelty factor, freedom to personalize. Since houses can't sit on the market longer, sellers may often open to negotiation, which is true because it's, you know, it's known to be haunted. So it's a unique 
you know, I haven't seen a lot of videos. I saw videos of, like, people going and checking out haunted houses and trying to find ghosts and, you know, prove it's haunted and stuff. But I haven't seen many videos of people talking about, would you buy a house known to be haunted and live in it? Okay. We did the survey. It was 69 to 31. One, yeah. 69, 69 said no. And 31 said, said yes. yes. So okay. they live in a haunted house. Yeah. And it was like 170 votes, I think, or something like that. Um, I'm in the know. I wouldn't, A, I wouldn't buy it, and B, I wouldn't live in it, even if I bought it. So, it wouldn't you know. bother me if I, if I knew the story behind it. I mean, as long as it wasn't like, you know, you had a, a, a mask murdering in the house. Kind Would of you thing, live in the you know? Annerville Horror House? Today, yeah, because the house has totally been ripped down and redone. So, and and those people that made the news not too long ago. Yeah, they changed the windows to, so they, they had to shake yeah, they changed a lot of it so that it would people would just like that house is worth millions. It. Oh yeah, it's crazy money out there in Oyster Bay. It's where it's located. Yeah, yeah it's insane. But you know, it's got you know some creepy stuff behind it. But then again, is you know like other things have happened in houses that have been you know bad, and the houses aren't haunted. So you know, you really got to question like. Is haunting real? You know. Tell us, what do you guys think? You guys think hauntings are real? Okay. Um, everybody has their opinions. Comment below. And that's today's video. I greatly appreciate it. Like always, check out this video over here. I picked it out just for you guys. I think you'll enjoy it very much. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the uh, the uh, thing that we're going to do. And we're going <laughs> to down soon. The alert. <laughs> the alert. <laughs> subscribe. And we'll speak to you soon. Don't forget this video. We'll talk to you in the next one. All right. Bye. Peace.